You have definitely heard of Revenant Reborn by now. He has been talked about for weeks upon end. And that is Revenant Reborn. Now overall, he looks pretty cool. Everyone will actually get the chance to play as him. It's unlocked automatically, and you can complete quests throughout the season to unlock him permanently. So it does look like we are going more into a story mode for this season, which is a kind of a cool concept, and I'm glad that they're doing that. We even know exactly what his abilities are going to be. A few inches later. The devs actually said he could jump as far as an octane pad if you charge the tactical up enough. Oh, and also jump vertical, not just hop forward. Revenant is definitely one of the most loved characters in Apex, and his lore is without a doubt one of the best, and even though he has a menacing, evil, and devious character, we still love him. Even though Revenant is hundreds of years old, dating back to years upon years before the Apex games was even a thing, Revenant was actually a programmed AI. Now, I didn't actually know this, as I'm sure quite a few people didn't, but Revenant is an absolute professional professional at killing people mercilessly. In fact, Revenant was one of the most feared assassins in the Apex Outlands, just killing, sometimes even for fun, for over 200 years. Now the Syndicate, the people who actually programmed Revenant, programmed him in such a way that he feels somewhat human, sings like one, maybe even acts like one. Hence why we can see in this trailer, there is a human version of him. This is the version of Revenant that quote unquote hunts him in his dreams. And and so, Revenant was never human, just an AI made to think that it was human. The Syndicate made his kit perfect for assassinations, with a passive that allowed him to silently climb walls at great heights, crouch walking with speed and silence, a tactical that allowed him to disable anything that is basically a threat to him. He was the ideal killing machine that we now know as Revenant. But to understand why his abilities are truly being changed the way they are, we have to understand the intention behind the the one thing that makes Revenant, well, Revenant, his death totem. Now usually as players, we just pop the ultimate, get the death totem on the ground, die, return to it, repeat the process, but I'm sure a lot of players don't actually understand what it is about this that opens the gateway for him to become, well, reborn. Since Revenant is just an AI, all you would have to do to make him immortal is just transfer his programming into another body, thus creating his ultimate and thus explaining why he actually can't die. Because the moment he does, it's just right back into another Revenant body to resume insanity. And so this is where we find ourselves guys, with the story of Revenant Reborn. Besides from his player count being so low in the game, it is safe to say that one of the reasons why Respawn even wants to change his abilities in the first place isn't just from a lore perspective, but from an objective analytical one as well. Not many people actually play Revenant, but the one question that is driving everyone insane is as simple as, well, what are his abilities? Now even though there are plenty upon plenty of sources and leaks that tell us what they are, the thing is, Respawn is known for the tomfoolery guys. Did you forget about Forge, the legend that we were supposed to get for season 4 that was leaked and hyped up, only for Revenant to delete his ass off the face of the earth and have him come to the Apex games instead. Now I know that's just lore and that's why Respawn killed off Forge and gave us Revenant, but don't forget about Scryer either, a leaked legend that actually originally had Catalyst's current ultimate as an ability. Thornton Smash explains this a little bit better than I do. The Tactical is another interesting ability, where it releases a parasite trap that reveals the target's vision. Now in the play model of this, they actually use the spider, and it looks like one of the ones from the Halloween event. Now unfortunately, because there's only one person in the firing range, we can't see that perspective, but it definitely seems fairly interesting. It's the wall hack meta brought to the next degree because not only are you hacking through walls, you can see everything about the team's composition. It will be really interesting if you're able to see what kind of weaponry and then also the types of armor and what's in the player's inventory. But overall, this character is, is designed to absolutely be the utmost recon character possible as, as they are in the recon class. Sadly though, we do know what their ultimate is and it is called Shadow Wall where you unleash a creeping wall of darkness that blocks sight and blinds enemies. This is most interesting because apparently this has been scrapped kind of in a way and was moved over to Catalyst. 
Catalyst, as that is clearly what Catalyst Wall does. And we know from the previous leak that Catalyst originally had just a giant tower she built. So it looks like for whatever reason, Scryer's ability that was almost done got completely moved over to Catalyst. So when this character does launch, we should be expecting a completely reworked ultimate that we have no idea about whatsoever. Look, the point is we will never truly know anything about a new season until we actually see it come straight from the source, AKA respawn. And it's exactly that one thing that is driving everyone insane. The fact a well-loved legend with good lore getting a major rework, it's huge. Everyone wants to know his abilities, but there are sources from here and there and everywhere about what his abilities are going to be, even though we technically kind of really already do know what they're going to be. Let's just say that Bloodhound and Vantage had a baby. Passive will be marking enemies with low health that are near him only for him to see. He keeps his crab walk thingy and he can still infinite climb and actually may even be an improved climb. Tactical is called Shadow Pounce. You can leap forward or upwards and can even hold down the tactical to jump as far as an octane pad. It will be absolutely insane. That means no more silencing ability though. And the ultimate, which you have all been waiting for, the ultimate will be called Forged Shadows. This creates a shield of shadows around him that protects him from incoming damage. It does have a limited amount of HP protection, but if he gets a knock, it brings back his shadow form and recharges his tactical. This will obviously make him a very aggressive character with the movement and the extra HP. Point being, he has similarities of multiple Legends abilities in the game just mixed into one kit. But amongst all this Revenant Reborn chaos, Revenant Reborn news, Revenant's lore, wondering and trying our best to be as patient as we can for the new season to drop so we can actually see all of these new changes, we can at least find peace knowing that Revenant definitely had to go and see the dentist real quick because what is happening with his teeth? He obviously cares about who he kills now, alright? My man's before, he didn't really care, but I guess the glow up is nice.